Hello everyone, welcome to Radiology Case Review Series. In this video, we are going to look at images of a middle-aged patient who presented to emergency department following MVC. Patient underwent CT pan scan examination as part of workup. As you scroll through the images, you can see patient has bilateral rib fractures. You can see hemothorax bilaterally. And on the lung windows, you can see multiple foci of lung contusions bilaterally. On the soft tissue windows, you can see large mediastinal hematoma. And as I scroll back and forth, you can clearly see aortic transection at the junction of the aortic arch and descending thoracic aorta. And as I scroll through further, you can also see pulmonary artery laceration involving the left main pulmonary artery. Again, on the sagittal images, you can clearly see aortic transection in the region of aortic isthmus at the expected site of attachment of ligamentum arteriosum. Also notice patient has fractures of the thoracic and lumbar vertebral bodies. So our patient has sustained blunt thoracic aortic injury with significant aortic injury and pulmonary artery injury. So as I showed on the previous video, the aortic transection can be due to stretching in the setting of hyperextension of the neck and the aortic arch vessels pulling the thoracic aorta or it can be due to shearing injury at the site of fixation of aortic isthmus by ligamentum arteriosum or it can also be due to pinching of the aorta between the bone structures or due to sudden increase in intravascular pressure with thump effect causing aortic injury. In terms of blunt traumatic aortic injury, it is classified based on the presence or absence of external aortic wall abnormality as minimal aortic injury when there is no contour abnormality and significant aortic injury when there is contour abnormality of the thoracic aorta. And in terms of significant aortic injury, this can be intramural hematoma with contour abnormality or pseudoaneurysm less than 1 cm, greater than 1 cm, but with contour abnormality and aortic rupture like what we saw in our patient. And in terms of main pulmonary artery laceration after blunt aortic trauma, this is incredibly rare even in the setting of patient being admitted to the hospital. In a series of close to 600 autopsies, they found only four cases of pulmonary artery laceration. Vast majority of these patients come in the field I hope you found this rather unusual case of blunt thoracic aortic injury with significant aortic trauma and pulmonary artery laceration to be informative. Thanks for your attention.